What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell34, and today I'm here with our reaction video to The Expanse. This one is season two, episode eight. How's it going, everybody? I just want to say uh, I'm really excited to jump back into the world of The Expanse. It's been a little while. Again, I'm really sorry to the people who've been waiting. The Expanse and, the, and Black Mirror are sort of like the last ones that I'm finally catching up on uh, since I was sick and everything. I'm just really excited to get back into it. So we're actually going to be doing episodes 8 and 9 right now. Then 10, I'm probably going to push to Sunday just so I have a little bit of space and time just to get my energy back up and all that jazz. But I'm going to watch the recap just so I refresh my mind. But things are getting really intense. The idea that there's this other threat uh, of Eros was, it was, beca it was becoming more apparent. And I think people are going to start to realize that in the show, Bobby sort of you know give her 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 spiel about what happened and downplaying it and try and tell her basically like shut up and don't say anything or else you might die really interested to see where they're gonna go things are just picking up in terms of the threat level in the world as always if you enjoy this video then definitely smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and again guys in case you're interested in joining along this journey with me and getting the full under raw reactions and more since the very beginning, uh, then definitely check out patreon.com slash hill34 in the description down below. Also guys, there's some really cool expand stuff that happened while I was away in uh, New York Comic Con that I'm gonna make for a separate video. Uh, but I thought, like, this is probably not going to come until I'm like, back on my schedule. I'm probably not going to get that video edited, but it's really cool for the Expanse fam. Uh, so I thought I'd just show you something from that. What could this be? Is it Amos's feelings? Guys, right here, we have a box. It's a boxing video. I'll just I'll show you guys it first, and then I'll tell you about it. So here's a box. Pretty freaking sick, eh? This is so cool. So essentially, so pretty much uh, this is, so it comes in an envelope that says Tycho Station. It's sealed, I haven't opened it yet. Basically what it is, is when I went to New York Comic Con, there was an expanse sort of uh, like experience thing that he knew that I was a really big fan of the series and uh, I was really enthusiastic. So he gave me a season one water bladder inside Julie's space. So this is directly from the show. This isn't a replica, guys. This is literally a certificate of authenticity is hereby certified that the following item was used in the production of the expanse. We got the envelope and we have the actual thing. So I, I've never really got anything like this. I was really surprised. Like it's got the measurements. I probably, I don't know if this is actually usable. I haven't even, tr I mean, oh shit. Yeah, this is actually, you, you can actually use this, but this is just dirty and stuff. But yeah, I just thought this was really cool. And I wanted to show you guys this because, you know, I love the show. You guys love the show. And going through this journey with you guys, I thought it'd be fun to just show you just like something like this. I don't know. Anyway, I thought that was really cool. I, I feel more connected to the show than I was before. Let's get back into the expense. Yeet. Fred Solid. Buffer. Oh. They've intersected. The storylines are converging. Let's go. I'm. I'm just. I'll talk a little bit while this is going on. Uh, I'm excited for the show, man. Um, just, I fucking love it. It's a lot of fun. The more, the more that I'm going through it, the more that I'm engaged and uh, engrossed in the world. So. And she's gone. Oh. Doris. It's so nice to see you back on your feet. It's okay here. Take it easy, man. We just got bodied. Oh, it feels so bad. Dawes is on his head ass shit too. Put him in the hole. Uh oh. Jogo. I'm I'm telling you, by the end of the se like season or maybe next season, he's he's gonna be high so up there in the belters. Us. It's not your fault. He probably will place Dawes. You don't get we'll work for you. That's enough. Sir. Holding as in holding on. He's going in. In the office. It's for yourself. 
Oh, no doubt goodness. believing that when the time comes, as it surely must, you and you alone would decide when to use the weapon to defend the belt. I will learn your secret, Fred Johnson. And I am giving it to the belt. Oh, don't waste it now, guys. Come on. So do you have any idea what you're gonna do now? Scanning the system for signals like that. He found one. Where? He was still trying to figure it out. He only heard it once. After Eros burned up. You didn't mention any of this. The distrust or anything. I think she's pulling something. Look at they're on the way. Oh shit. You drop the ball, fam. You're gonna have to hold this out. I'm sorry. It's this is a point where you get people involved, Naomi. I mean, you don't keep this on your own. Like Holden's pulling up. Hey. My boy. He's going through the shits. I don't know, I just can't tell if someone's off. Well, it's kind of hard sometimes, Amos, but. Oh gosh. This is gonna lead. This video is gonna lead to a bunch of chaos, which will in turn lead to anarchy. My friend told me that in the in the twelfth grade, and just the middle, like how off he was pronouncing those words. I just found it hilarious. Yeah, that was, that was a good choice. Doris. Ah, I was so about that. Oscar thrust for other ship to dock. Okay, so hold, ready for zero G. I'm really enjoying these two. Great acting on both their ends too. She just blows up or something, or the, or they, get, they just get spaced. <laughs> Put me in the fucking writer's room. Oh. So we helped them out. Damn, that was great. Oh my goodness. Freezing up. Rest in peace, dude. Oh my goodness. That was a great setup. Now we're gonna follow him more and he's got all this freaking trauma. Gadmi, daughter, friend. Space, space is spooky, and this show really, this is what you, used to do for you know, living. actualizes that. I suppose not. Then why don't you trust him? To make an example of that stupid child. You will. We're not killing my, like, Red serves the best third interest. favorite character in the series. Doors seems to think different. Does. Do you know him? Yeah, right? So you're, letting, you're letting your emotions slip. The shout came from Ganymede. There's a proto molecule on Ganymede station. The Dude, the reaction when they realize that the proto molecule, the proto molecule, has got foot soldiers. Oh my gosh, gonna be so good. Think has Ganymede cordoned off. We'll find a way. Sure we. The team is split Jim. up right now. Ross and I crew. There's more we can do. Oh, that lighting? They're kissing. Oh, or not. Send in the info. I'm loving the directing in this episode and the way they're using the focus and like the, the audio to muffle and focus on their perspectives. I need this for you. Tell him. Go back, come on. 
Tell that guy. No, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Dopa didn't even focus on Alex there. Techno station. All right. From the last barge, we now have nearly 3,500 refugees from Ganymede Port. And Tago. Oh gosh, what are we doing? Wide ration plan. That will not go well. Assassination attempt? Jesus Christ! They don't care. They don't even give a shit. No one else needs to die. He's gonna have to bump into Alex. Oh, never mind. I think, uh, I think. <laughs> Open it the other way around, Naomi. What are you doing? Oh. Just a soybean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. People have died for me before. <laughs> Damn it, she held it down. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. They're right there on Mars when you left them. God damn you. You can throw that in my face. Oh, Guys, please. Not like this. <laughs> Man, I was, I just even just quit over there. I feel so bad for the guy. Obviously. Amos is going through a lot of emotional trauma this episode, what's been happening with him. So when he referenced the family, he was, he, we know how he is as a brute. And the fact that this man, <laughs> they went back to his, his, his character, he said, he, 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 he basically, she said, I don't want to fight because if you do, if we do, who's going to fly the plane? He basically said, you're going to die and then we have no pilots. <laughs> this guy's nutty, bro. But I felt so, I feel so bad for like him. Amos has been monitoring one of the hangar bays with a justice test. It's like they're preparing to launch. I don't sick to remember any project Dr. Strickland was involved in. May I tell him about what happened? Liar. I don't think he has anything to do with the probe module. It's no way. We got a serious goddamn problem here. Yeah, that Tycho shirt's fire. I need one of those. You can't have to do you any good. Amos, I want him to roll up and just let off some steam, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Jesus. Let's go, Johnson! Did they get the people? That was a close one still. Good call. here we have nukes around this is bigger I need you confirmation I love you through it all see your moment no more secrets right guys no more secrets I think we need some lasagna at the dinner table that's what the group really needs right now we need some bonding time we need a staff get together you know one of those you still think you're gonna be in charge when I get back? You said it yourself, the game has changed. You're free to go. <laughs> All right, that seems to wrap up our time on Tycho. Uh, a lot of development with Johnson and the team. Some blood was spilt. 
Uh, but in turn, the plot got spicy, so I'm here for it. And that was The Expanse Season 2, Episode 8. That was my reaction video, guys. Um, this made for... I'm, I'm actually... Uh, I was actually surprised. This was a solid... Uh, Episode that was character centric for the for the, for a good portion of it uh, with his new character uh, who lost his daughter that we thought we followed him as he was a refugee and sort of getting out of his situation, uh, which then tied into the larger narrative. We sort of see what happened and uh, we got to the second half of the episode with Tycho Station and the sort of try to overthrow Johnson and murder him. I really enjoyed this episode. They managed to pack quite a few things and develop them. The relationship at the, at the end with Naomi and Holden, we dropped some L-bombs. We, we were trying, sort of just throwing this idea of trust. Proto-molecule out there, we know that there's one hidden still in Naomi. I don't know if she had mentioned it or not, but uh, they sort of put some pressure on that, which I enjoyed quite a bit. Performances this time around too were pretty strong across the cast here. The two uh, characters we focused on at the beginning of this episode, like their plot, I really like what they were going for this episode, then the whole twist of them spacing the uh, earthers and whatnot. Uh, really cool and that sort of gets the idea that just there's, the belt is is out of control uh, and things are un really unease. Uh, love the monologue with Dawes too. Uh, again, really, he's everything about him I love. Uh, pretty well executed in his pieced together episode. Nothing really felt too out of line or, or, or disjointed for me. Like I said, they did manage to pack a lot of things in here and smoothly executed. And it was nice that we didn't really focus on Earth or the other politics and what's going on. You know, we just focused on Gan uh, Ganymede and uh, developing that pl plot line a bit. And I feel like if we had gone Earth and that, it might have made the episode jarring. So I like the decision to just keep it on Tycho and uh, the Gan Ganymede situation. Yeah, and also we got Alex. Uh, and, and, and Amos this episode, Amos had a lot of development too, uh, and I just, I'm really liking what they're doing with his character, and uh, Alex is trying to do the whole, he's doing his whole humanitarian thing and helping out, but now, after that, you know, situation with Amos, he's sort of probably going to harp back on his family because he was just going through a hard time a couple, epi a couple episodes ago, so, um, just things are really... And uh, are really, sh really, really rocky in terms of the climate going around with all the nukes. Um, you know, people overthrowing each other, snaking each other, and then we have the situation just with our with the Rastanade team. They're just with their own personal struggles as well, and having to deal with everything else in the world. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they fix that going into the second half of the the the, the ending, like quarter of the season and what big sort of revelations are gonna come out of that. Plus, you know, there's still the whole situation with, situation with Mars, Earth, Bobby, unknown, seventh man and all that stuff. So quite a lot to look forward to. So that being said, guys, that was episode A of The Expanse. what do you think about this episode? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, again, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna hop in episode nine and grab a cup of tea and get her going again. So if you're interested in getting the full Unita Raw reactions and more, then definitely check out patreon.com slash 34 in the description down below. That being said, I'll see you all next time, guys. I love you. Peace.